What is up my good people? The name is Pixel Love and we are back again with another episode of Earthbound. In the ab in the last episode, I was about to say the absolute episode, no. In the last episode, I only went on a dub streak and I ended up not only beating the dungeon in in the Lom, the Pink Cloud, but I also was able to get all the way here to Scarabub by, be the, by beating the shit out of the Kraken. And... I've noticed something weird and interesting. Um, the last time I saw that, the last time that I saw my the video on how well it did in views, it, it hit 80. <laughs> it hit 80 views. Now, for somebody like me, who's typically around like 10, 20, maybe even 30, 40 on a good day, 80 is kind of insane. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I don't know if it's because of the title, because I put dubs in the title, only dubs in this house, or if it's because like people actually do watch it, and people did enjoy it, people were interested. If you are one of those said people, hey, you know, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe, you know, definitely leave a comment, tell me what you liked about the video and whatnot. Hey, 80 views, <laughs> that's it's mind boggling. And it's only Wednesday. I put that up on Monday. So, it, things might really change by the time Friday came, Friday comes around. Anyways, I looked around all of Scaraba and there was nothing too interesting that I found after uh, the last episode. I ended up putting a few things back in Escargot Express, like the piggy nose and whatnot. Uh, let's see here. I was able to find some big old bottle rockets for good old Jeff here, so it's gonna be mad stacked. Oh, and I was also able to fix the broken cannon, so it's now the Spectrum Beam, which is a new weapon for Jeff. And I ended up buying the Snake Bag because it says that I can use it over and over again. So let's see how well, see how well that goes. So there's not like so far there was nothing really. Or me on the north on the north end of Scarabell. I did end up finding out that Pokey has been here before. However, I'm pretty sure he just left the giant crap somewhere, somewhere up uh, in the northeast. And another thing that I will mention that you probably will not know, definitely not, but I am using my Pro Controller now instead of my Joy Cons because. You've seen it for the last few episodes that all of a sudden my joy cons start drifting out of nowhere. And it has been... It's just been difficult to try and like genuinely try to record it or whatnot. Because every 5 or 10 minutes it's always the joy cons drifting. Always putting me in a bad position, always making me do something that I didn't say to do. And it's... Massively annoying, to say the least. Oh, cool! Cool! I love this! Why? Just why is this a thing? I'm not even moving it! Fortunately, I do have this pro controller on me, so I will be able to use this and not have to deal with the Joy Con drift. Still, it's just very. Odd. It's just very annoying. It's also very depressing because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I might end up having to buy new Joy Cons, and like these things are not cheap at all. Hell no. Why would I want a bottle of DX water? Actually, what does a bottle of DX water do? Very expensive water, but almost the same as the water you drink in town. It recovers power points a little bit. Oh. Oh, oh, um, it's a, it's a 40 power, it's a 40 psychic point, uh, item for who, but, Jesus fucking Christ, alright, I'm just gonna talk over him, it's a 40 psychic points power recovery for Pooh, but it's about $200, however, if I get, <laughs> if I get just four water, water bottles, four individual water bottles, that is only $16. 16 over 198. That's a 
big difference. Though I will say, at, l at the very least, I wouldn't have to hog a lot of inventory space. I should also probably figure out what these guys are, are what, what these guys are bad against or whatnot. I might actually end up buying the bottles of DX water. It's just that I first need to. Oh, nice, nice. Open up gnosis. Like, if gnosis is gonna do anything over here, <laughs> I might end up buying it sometime in the future. But the thing is, is I at least want to use these bottles of waters right now. No. Yeah, I could end up getting like about. Could end up getting like about how much? Uh, I could end up getting like ten dollars if I sell if I sold them all, or I could end up getting fifty power points for poo. So, no, never know. Are you a thief, a warrior, or the one who has come to see my Majesty? Let's decide what you really are. Therefore, what will you do? What is going on here? Can I move? I, I don't get what any, I don't get what any of this is. Uh Mr. Pharaoh guy, hello? Do I have to keep going south? Are you a thief, a warrior, or the one who has come to my majesty? You must decide what you really are, therefore what will you God damn it! The The desert is really small actually. And not gonna lie, I would go to Escargo Express to try and whip out the hieroglyphs copy, but I'm just I'm just gonna look back at my old recordings because I don't wanna waste eighteen I don't wanna waste thirty six dollars just to get it in and give it back. I'll just Put up whatever the hieroglyph copy said or whatnot. I'll do it in an editing. Be right back. Who read the hieroglyphs? To fight against the invaders, we built this pyramid fortress. However, our efforts were futile and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramids were protected by the gods of Scaraba. The invaders will be reborn every millennium and will attack again. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time and build their evil stronghold. A place out of time is beyond the dark. Farther beyond the lost underworld, deep darkness is shrouded. It is without light. Only one with the hawk eye can pierce the dark. The Sphinx now watches over everything, waiting for the coming of a truly brave hero. Four, three, five. Dance in front of the Sphinx. Warriors, enter now. Search for the hawk eye. Okay, that was a lot more easier than I thought. I don't like this. We're in a pyra we're in a pyramid. It's very spooky. Is this like some Indiana Jones shit or something like that? Oh, I see a bug. I see a bug. I hate how I have to fight these tiny ass little sprites of bugs. Uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you what I think they would add against freeze, maybe? Vulnerable to PSI fire, vulnerable to PSI freeze, paralysis, brain shock. I'll take that. I won't take that, however. Uh, I would really much prefer if he didn't get he didn't get poisoned. Thank you very much. Actually, maybe I should may, maybe I should use the PSI on from Pooh instead of Paula. Baby, that's a lot. Because like I have the ball of waters for a reason, no? Yeah, there's no reason for me not to use Poo's PSI. I saw that 
diagram, uh, sprite, whatever it is, I saw it move. Hieroglyph, that's the one. I completely forgot what it was. I haven't brushed up on my Egyptian terminology yet, so... Let's see what this man is against. PSI Fire and Hypnosis. And it's still hit Paula. Why does everyone want to hit Paula? What the fuck? The one who has the least amount of HP and everyone wants to destroy her. I guess that's the reason why, because she's the least amount of HP, but still. Ta-da! There's a Viper. Cool. I actually looked it up and it seems that the Vipers and Snakes are like really useful because they are able to they can be able to use as like an attack with like a chance to poison. Obviously it's like a one time thing with the exception of like the snake bag and whatnot but being able to like have the opportunity to poison like that sounds, sounds pretty, pretty nice. I saw those hieroglyphs. Oh. oh. The Fierce Shattered Man. I am going to assume that just like the original Shattered Man, this guy is against freezing. So. Okay, I guess we didn't need to freeze him at all. Ness just absolutely pound him. Which is what I want Ness to do. I want Ness to pound the enemy. I don't want him to fucking miss or start crying or shit or shit like that. Hell no. And we got another hieroglyph. All right. In what world do hieroglyphs just come out of the wall and start attacking you? In what world does that happen? Like seriously, y'all need to chill the fuck out. <laughs> Pine. 100% intended. And it still didn't kill him. A Pharaoh's curse? What the hell is a Pharaoh's curse? I guess I'll just have to figure it out after I beat the shit out of this guy. PSI Thunder Gamma? I have no fucking clue um, what anything is other than Alpha, Omega, Alpha, Beta, and Omega. I don't know my Greek alphabets, but it. I already know that Pooh has it, so it's not like it's something that I really need. What the hell is that? Look at all the hieroglyphs. Oh lord. Um, actually, do I want to use the Viper right now? I'll use it some other time. Right now, I think what would be great right now is if we do a little, do a little PSI fire. Now the question is, want to do? Ah, eh, fuck it. I'll just do this. Just to say, wait a minute. Can I not do it on both? Oh, I can. I'm. I'm just. I just can't see. Can't see. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna cheap out and use beta and well would you look at that that's still big damage huge damage still kind of feel bad that Jeff is the only one with no PSI powers whatsoever the only one over there that's zero PSI power at the very least he's able to do you know, big damage huge damage with his bottle rockets casket seems a little suspicious. Okay. And not fight both of them at the same time? Why did he want to stay there? Come on now. Why do you want to stay there? I saw you, fierce shattered man. You thought you could thought you could outsmart me. I don't fucking know. Look. <laughs> Look! I'm not gonna say I'm tired or whatnot because I'm technically not, but it's been a long day. Actually, has it really? I haven't really been doing anything the entire day. You get the idea. 
He's dead. And now the real question is, what's behind the casket that he left behind? I don't give a shit about the mummy wrap. Hey, let's go! Jeff leveled up. Anyways, what's behind here? Ta-da! There's a bag of Dragonite in there. I still have... I, I still don't know exactly what Dragonite does specifically. Anyway, what is this Pharaoh's curse? The next pleasant ooze that says out of dreadful bugs and the enemy may be poisoned. Cool, doesn't sound that useful, but I'll take it. We have here. Dragonite. If you sprinkle the powder on your friends during battle, the friend turns into a dragon and attacks all enemies. Gone after one use. Alright. Would you look at that? We have a hieroglyph. The petrified royal guard? What the fuck? Alright. Just for shits and giggles. Let's see how... Let's see how this actually pl plans out. Actually, no. I'll turn back time. Alright, I guess I can't use it on anything. Jeez, that's it? That's it? That was all it does? My god! Also, I pressed the wrong button. If that was it, that, that's just kind of... It's kind of lame. I don't know what better way for me to say it. That's just... Beyond lame, that's... <laughs> Words cannot describe my disappointment at what that Dragonite did. Oh, of course I missed. I feel, like also, I feel like now is the time for Pooh to start drinking his water, because I'm running low. Vulnerable to paralysis. Uh, I am not going to take my shot. And who this guy is, or where he comes from, all I'm just gonna- Oh my god, that's quite the defense. Well, at least he's numb. Uh, I guess I can... I'll just keep bashing him, man. No, better get... Heavy bazooka time. Let's go, Jeff. This is your time to shine. Mr. Wait, this is just gonna kill him, isn't it? No, it doesn't kill him. Wait, hey, hey, can we use the bazooka? Use the bazooka! Let's go! <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. Finally, I can use this damn bazooka. So, goddamn! That was quite a lot! It's a lot of XP. There we go, my boy Pooh is all recovered. Can I please go through this upper path? Thank you. Some more hieroglyphs over here that I need to beat the crap out of. But at the very least, I was able to free up five slots of Paula's storage. So I'll be able to buy that DX water. Just as soon as I finish my job here in the pyramid. Hey, it's quite a lot of enemies. There's even a casket there. And it's the sky. I feel like there's only one thing in this world that would probably help me out right now, and that is if I paralyze this guy. Well, uh, you know what needed to do. Raise the absolute crap out of him. Jeff, shit out of him. And poop. Maybe use a bit more of that freezing techniques that you got there. Can we get rid of the snake in one try? Yes we did! Yes sir! That's what I like to see, baby! And this man is taking massive damage as well. Kind of wish I had the bazooka right now, but oh well. We can't all be perfect, can we? very least, I'll have one more chance to use it. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes sir! That's what I like to see, baby! I like to see my items finally being used for once. Ta-da! There's a speed capsule inside. Who needs speed the 
Couple of life noodles inside. I'll take it. Yeah, who would need speed the most? Let's see here. 41 speed, 46 speed, 29. Oh lord, 42. Yeah, no, Jeff. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, uh, how should I say this? Well, the raw candy that I was given. Remember how last episode I bought like a shit ton of like sugar packets. Well, I don't have them anymore because I put them away or I used a rock candy. I used a rock candy trick. The trick was is that during battle you just constantly use the rock candy and because you have so many sugar packets it just keeps coming up like it's an infinite thing or whatnot. So I used that I only used I only use that glitch, I guess. I guess that's how you would call it. I only used it with the amount of sugar packets that I had. Uh, last time, which was like five or six or whatnot, so I used it like about six times, and then I was like, you know, this is kind of broken, and not gonna lie, I kind of want to sauce up my guys just by leveling them up, so that's why I put the rock candy away. I do still have it, it's just that, you know, I kind of don't want to use it right now. The Guardian General. I did not realize I was gonna go straight into a, a boss fight. Okay. Um, just gotta treat this like an actual boss fight, I guess. I don't know if I, I'm gonna use paralysis again. These guys were were bad against paralysis, but so there's no reason for me not to use it. Actually, do I want to use offense or do I want to use? We'll go ahead with offense, just because this is, I don't really see any place else where I would need to go down the pyramid, so a little bit of that. Uh, oh god, Pooh, you really are down on your PSI. Don't worry though, this is gonna be, gonna be great, this is gonna be good, this is gonna be good. We're gonna sauce everybody up. Everyone is gonna be sauced up. We're gonna paralyze this guy. Fuck! It didn't work. Okay, well, it's not so bad. Um. Let's use flash, I guess. I don't really have a better way to else to say it. I would use the. I'm gonna use a big ball rocket. I'll use a big ball rocket and then I'll use the heavy bazooka. See how that works out. Don't. I don't think brain shock will work with it all. Could try, but rather not. Cool! It did not work! I love him when my shit don't work. It's huge damage, though. The huge damage is what I like to see, Jeff. I like to see Jeff, my boy. It's taking away my PSI, which, granted, it's pretty big. It's not as big as my HP, but fuck, I don't want to use my. I don't want to lose my PSI right now. I guess I just played that extremely safe. Holy shit, that's a lot of XP. I'm not gonna lie, this guy was ass. He only took away like 20. If you don't count how much I actually spent, he didn't take away that much. He didn't take away that much. What is this that I see? It said that Pooh got shield Omega. That's damage in half and some of the block damage is dealt back to the end. Ooh! So this is just shield. Shield, whatever that is, but better. But instead of all, sh instead of everyone having a shield alpha, everyone has a shield beta. I see. Nice. Tada! There's a rain pendant. Finally, another rain, another pendant. I very much prefer that to go on to Ness. 
Actually, would I rather have it on this or would I rather have it on Paula? Because Paula's the one with the flame pendant. At the same time, the crystal charm gives me good speed, but... Oh. Look at that, a switch. What, is there going to be another... Is there going to be another entrance that I have to go... Another exit that I can go through? The pyramid? Yeah, I, I don't know if I want to switch out the pendant right now for the charm because the charm actually gives me quite a lot of speed, actually. An absurd amount of speed. No, 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 no. Why do you think you could do a continuous attack right now? You have not done a continuous attack at all, and yet the time where I'm low, you start... Using a continuous attack. Don't give me that BS. Play by the game. Play by the rules. Oh, would you look at that? The mummy casket is. And I have to go through the stairs. Just get there. What do you got here? There's something on the platform. Do you want to get it? I'll take it. The Hawkeye. Let's go, baby! The only downside is that now how the fuck do I get out? Because I went down the hole. I had to go down all the way from the mummy casket. I went down all the way down here. And now I have no fucking clue how to get out back to Scarabo. And not gonna lie, the amount of PSI that I have in me is dwindling. And it's starting to become a real issue. Especially with how much I spent just finding those petrified golem guys. Because I swear to god, I feel like if I don't take them out immediately, they're just gonna beat me up to a pulp. I look like the Hulk for crying out loud. Also, why the hell did I miss? Come on now. I'm trying to get the hell out of here, and you decided the best thing to do in this course of action is to miss? Come on. Yeah, magic butterfly. I need it, but there's this asshole over here who's in the way. At least these hieroglyphs are actually very easy for me to beat. All I just need to do is take four, three continuous attacks and then these guys are dead. It's just as simple as that. No need to waste no PSR or whatnot. Give me this butterfly! I was about to say, why did it go right through me? Thank you, you took way too long for that to actually happen. Ta-da, there's a diamond band inside. I already have diamond bands, so I have. Yeah, I do. What if I sold this back in summer? How much would that be? Also, that's quite a lot of PSI that I got back. Is this my dad? Yeah, it is. Look, dad, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I get that I may have been AFK on my switch for like an hour straight, but that doesn't give you cause to call me. Fuck. You know what, Dan? Maybe it would be nice if, you know, you can maybe help me like try to beat these guys instead of telling me, oh, I need to save because I'm running a little low on PSI if you could be able to tell. I'm surprised I was able to actually do that. I'm surprised I was actually able to go up uh, up behind this guy and just get a surprise attack just like that. Come on guys, don't miss. Just kill this guy. He's simple. He's easy. And he's still not dead. Ness, you stupid fuck. I was actually thinking I just not use... I just not use these this these things on this petrified guardian or whatnot. Let's see, let's see. They already paralyzed him. Hey, he got poisoned. Shit, I didn't paralyze him, I forgot. 
I actually forgot. And he's dead. Cool. I guess Pharaoh's curse wasn't really that useful at all. I might just sell it. <laughs> I genuinely just might sell it. Just take it just takes up space! That's all it does! It just takes up space on my goddamn inventory! Man, don't you love it when people do a smash attack and they don't die immediately? I love that. Healing Omega? Wait, did I read that right? Did that say Healing Omega or did that say Life Up Omega? Uh, PSI. No, it says Healing Omega. Fuck is Healing Omega? In addition with the healing effects of Healing Gamma, which is... Can I move, please? Which is curing being diam diamondized and paralyzed. In addition to that, it revives a friend who has become unconscious and completely maxes out that person's HP when revived. That seems a little useless because I could just do healing gamma and then life up beta or life up gamma and then I could still work. I mean, I guess it's nice to have it in the back of my mind, but still, that's just a little wasteful of PSI. In my humble opinion, maybe one day I'll use it. Doubt I will, because I have the powers of time and space on my hands. But who knows? It could be useful. I'm just wondering when the hell can I get out of this stamp pyramid? It's been going on for long enough. There's nothing for me to look around. I've just been going in a straight line this entire fucking time. Now, uh, let's see here. Hey! Would you look at that? I'm sorry, what the f- who? Well done, you have made it. I'm sorry, who are you? You finally meet, Prince Pooh. The stars foretold that I would meet you here, so now it's time to show you the way of the star storm. For a while, you must live far away from your friends and live with me. Do you understand? There's only one answer. I must stop you here even if you don't want to. Stay with me for a while. Do you understand? It's important that I study and learn the star storm. Most helpful to us. Once I learn it, I'll meet up with you, Ness. Trust me, I will see you again. Depends on Pooh's efforts that will determine the reuniting of the group. Be faithful and wait until the time comes. Why do I feel like this is just gonna end in me? Oh, no, it's not. I was gonna say, why the fuck does, does it feel like it's gonna be me ending up having to do another two-parter episode? But lo and behold, it won't be. Not sure if, if it was the dungeon man, but there's a strange looking tower in the northwest. The key I picked up a little while ago shall maybe open the tower. You may have it, I do not need it. Well. Since I've been dealing in pretty rough stuff, I can't run my business in town. Got a wide selection. What are you looking for? <gasps> Multi ball rocket! Well, actually, I'm gonna have to first find out how the hell I can get back to town. Actually, you know what, my good sir? I mean, this is where this is where I'll, I'll get you to do. How about you sell me some of this crap that I don't need, like this... I don't know what a beef jerky does. What does beef jerky do? 150 HP? Well, that, that, that's actually... I'll, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take the 150 HP. I'm not gonna sell it. But... I would really much appreciate it if you could sell me some of this crap that I don't need. I don't need this Pharaoh's Curse. I don't need these mummy wraps. I'll keep the beef jerky just like I said before. How much will you take the diamond band for? Actually, should I sell it here or, can, or should I sell it in summers? Because in summers. Oh, I could sell it here right then and there. Let's fucking go. I'll take that. Uh, I doubt I'm gonna. I doubt I want to sell the cup of life noodles, rain pendant, or even the Hawkeye. I doubt I can even do that to be fair. 
Sudden gut spill. Why do I still have that? This is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> like I said before, a million gajillion times. How about I sell you the big ball rockets and in exchange give me some of these multi ball rockets which are absolutely fucking stacked. And I'm also have, gonna have to be giving this sudden gut spell to Yes, I don't want to sell it, but I don't want to get. I don't want to keep it in Jeff's inventory. Also, cool. One six 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 six. The fact that I already said six times probably means that somebody already disliked it or unsubscribed. In which case, please don't. It's just a number. It's just a number. I'll take the French fry pen. Yes. Yes. Multi balls. Multi balls. Multi bottle rockets till the end of time! Alright, this is a massive, massive investment. Like, the big bottle rockets are dirt cheap compared to this. I just wasted 6k on multi bottle rockets. I really just did that. But you know what? Jeff is gonna be an absolute. Oh my fucking god, that's a lot of UFOs. Jeff is gonna be an absolute madman when he pounds everybody and also what the fuck is that? I guess I'll never know what the fuck is it is because well I didn't spy on it. I was thinking about equipping the rain pendant for Ness, but the thing about that is just that the the speed, like, I'm losing like about 20, 20 or even more speed just by removing it. And like, I, you guys remember about that speed capsule thing and I was wondering, I was like, who needs it the most? Turns out Ness actually needed it the fucking most because he looks dog without it. So this is really bad. She screw this, just use rocking and fire and whatnot. Could use I could use spy, but now's not the time. I just don't want a guy I just don't want these guys to pummel me. So why? Why does he get to go away with it? Why does he get to get away with not getting with not having his world rock? Okay, we got this weird ass looking thing over here. Just want to check if there's anything here because I did see that there's a pink little dude who supposedly has the most XP in the entire game and my dumbass time traveled back and now he's not here anymore. Fuck me I guess. Oh well, I don't see him here anymore. And this is getting sunstroke. So this is my time to shut up, swallow in my pride. Listen to what this dude got. Like you could enter, but it's locked. I'm kind of scared. He worked to open the door. You may enter. Welcome. You're inside of my body. Break room. All right. You know what? This looks like a. Um Knowing Brick Road, his dumbass probably put in a massive fucking dungeon inside this tower or whatnot. So, I'm going to leave it off for there. If you guys liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Pixel Love, Memento Mori, and whatnot, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, everybody.